Today I will discuss about perimetry and overview. Don't forget to download our app Optometry Notes and MCQs from Google Play Store. Perimetry versus perimeter. Measurement of extension of visual field or degree of visual field defects is called perimetry. The instrument used to examine visual field is called perimeter. With this technique, loss of visual function can usually be detected and quantified before the patient becomes aware of it. Perimetry helps us to assess visual integrity between the retina and visual cortex, understanding functional abilities of visual pathway and diagnose a vision brain condition. To understand perimetry, we first need to know what is visual field. Visual field is a three-dimensional area of subject surroundings that can be seen at any one time around an object of fixation when eyes are stationary and looking straight ahead. Now division of visual field. The visual field can be divided into two parts. Central part from a central fixation point to a circle of 30 degree is called central visual field. It consists of blind spot formed by the optic nerve head. Peripheral visual field. Rest of the area beyond 30 degree to outer extent is called peripheral visual field. Now normal range of visual field. Due to anatomical structure of eye socket and nose bridge in between two eyes, the range of visual field is not equal in all direction. Superiorly, the range of visual field is 50 degree, nasally 60 degree, inferiorly 70 degree and temporarily 90 degree because in temporal region there is no obstruction. Another thing that we need to know before going further discussion about perimetry is threshold. The threshold is minimum amount of light required to see an object is called threshold. Below this level of light object can't be seen it will be invisible. In our retina phobia has the finest threshold even with very dim light able to see object. Threshold increases from phobia to periphery and when threshold increased we need brighter light to see object. Phobia is the most sensitive due to presence of more cone cells than peripheral retina. Now heel of vision. Retinal light sensitivity can be expressed as heel of vision. The peak of the heel represents the phobia which has highest sensitivity and two slopes represent the nasal and temporal retina where sensitivity to light is decreasing gradually. Now, what is scotoma? When a particular point in the retina is required brighter condition to see an object or not able to see the object at all is called scotoma. Scotoma can be of two types, relative scotoma. When in a particular area in the retina, the threshold is increased or need brighter light than the normal to see the object, then it's called relative scotoma. Absolute scotoma. When in a particular area in the retina can't detect the target even with the brightest or maximum light is called absolute scotoma. Now let's know how perimeter works. Perimeter can be of two types, manual perimeter or automated perimeter. How manual perimeter works? In manual perimeter, we generally measure the extension of visual field. We bring a target from periphery to central fixation. Patient is asked to tell at which position he is able to see the target while patient is fixating at the central point. Based on the patient response, examiner documents the visual field extension. Automated perimeters are computer assisted software allow us to automatically identify visual field extension and degree of visual field defect based on patient's response. Now you might be thinking. How does a computer assisted software detect visual field or visual field defect? Let's see. As we already know, in our retina, phobia has the finest threshold even with dim light able to see object. Threshold increase from phobia to periphery and we need brighter light to see object. That means in our retina in different point we have different threshold to see an object. What software does? The flashes different intensity of light in a particular point to identify threshold of that point. 
when they identify the threshold of that point they compare this threshold with the data they have for the same age for this particular point if the threshold is higher than the normal data they have for the same age group then they show scotoma or visual field defect in that particular point this is how they identify threshold of different points in the retina and then compare with the normal threshold for the same age group and give interpretation now let's see what are the indication of perimetry one glaucoma early detection and a wider damage spectrum of glaucoma can be diagnosed and monitored over longer periods of time for the management of advanced stages of glaucoma perimetry is a method of choice two certifications certification of the existing visual performance for example for driving license testing and for legal blindness test three neurological neurological condition like strokes causes characteristic visual field loss that can be identified with perimetry neurologist sometimes refer such patient to ophthalmologist for visual field examination four retinal diseases progression of retinal diseases can be monitored by regular checking of visual fields such as retinitis pigmentosa diabetic retinopathy etc let's see what are the methods of perimetry first kinetic versus static perimetry kinetic perimetry in kinetic perimetry stimulus of non luminance are moved from periphery to center to identify visual field extension example confrontation perimetry lister perimetry tangent screen scotometry goldman perimetry static perimetry presenting a stimulus at a predetermined position for a preset duration with various luminance to identify threshold and supra threshold example automated goldman perimetry friedman visual field analyzer automated visual field analyzer now methods 2 central versus peripheral field charting central visual field charting this assess only central visual field or visual field defects example scotometry goldman perimetry automated perimetry peripheral visual field charting this assess only peripheral visual field defect example confrontation perimetry lister perimetry method 3 manual versus automated perimetry manual perimetry manual procedure to identify the extension of visual field example confrontation method lister perimeter goldman perimeter automated perimetry automated perimetry is a computer based system to identify visual field defect as for example humphrey visual field analyzer friedman visual field analyzer octopus visual field analyzer in the next video i will discuss about manual methods of perimetry in details